Uh, today, we're going to be talking about windage trays. I got two windage trays here. This is from uh, early Cobra 4.6, found on like the 96 uh, to 01 Cobras. And this is the windage tray that is used on the 5.4 liter uh, dual overhead cam from like the GT500. Okay, so Ford went with this style, uh, some, a, a full length windage tray with the three valves uh, in 05 to 2010. Uh, and then later the GT 500s have this, which is integrated into the oil pan gasket. Uh, this is going to be more efficient at blocking the oil and the windage, uh, than this. Okay. So what is windage and why do we need a tray for it? So when this thing is spinning around here, this is a, a short block that I put together a while ago. I'm going to try and finish it up in the next few, uh, videos. So what is windage? When this, when this crankshaft is spinning around uh, at several thousand RPM, it's creating wind and oil is uh, in that wind. And as this thing goes through there and it hits that oil, uh, it can actually rob power from the engine. So what Ford did on the early Cobra engines is they had this half windage tray that would go on like so. And it's got these four studs. Um, I've built these engines with the three valve windage tray, which is a full windage tray that bolts on similar to this uh, But you would need more studs for this thing to go on there uh, since that design And I'll put the part number down below Ford has gone to a integrated oil pan gasket slash full windage tray that now sits over it like this uh, and allows for the crankshaft to be isolated somewhat from that wind and all the oil in it and uh, help make the engine as efficient as possible so okay so this engine has a uh, forged kellogg crankshaft so this is a cobra crankshaft uh, from a 96 to 01 cobra uh, it's got manly forged uh, rods and manly flat top pistons uh, first thing you want to do is kind of set this thing on here and see uh, what it's going to be hitting on. I can already see that it's not it's not sitting flat for some reason. So we've got to figure out what it's touching. So the only thing that I see that it's touching on is uh, in this area here where these drain backs are. Uh, it's got them on both sides of the block. What that is is it allows the oil uh, from the heads to drain back down into the pan. So that's not a big deal. So now that it sits on there fairly well, I'm going to use our uh, crank turning tool. If you don't have one of these tools, uh, you can actually just use a uh, large adjustable and adjust it down to the size of the crankshaft and then it will catch on the, the keyway. Uh, but this makes it pretty easy. I'm just going to rotate this around and make sure that the crank counterweights are not contacting anywhere on the windage tray. All right, so no clearance issues here at all. Uh, next, I'm going to get the uh, oil pump on here and uh, see how the pickup tube clears everything. Okay, so for the rest of the oiling system, I'm going to use this uh, Ford Performance oil pump, part number M660-D46. This is a oil pump with high volume with the pickup tube. Okay, so here's what it comes with. It comes with the larger uh, pickup tube. Uh, may have to grind this thing off or cut this thing off. We'll see how that fits and our oil pump uh, These are the pumps that were factory on the uh, early Cobras on the 96 to 01 Cobras All right, now we're on to the front of our engine here. We're going to put our oil pump on you can see that the the crankshaft has these cutouts uh, that's where uh, there's also these uh, Kind of tang looking things on the on the pump gear itself those have to line up with there uh, also you want to make sure that uh, it's nice and smooth where it's going to mount up to uh, the block make sure there's no debris or anything in there and then just kind of work it onto the crankshaft once it's on there it should sit flush up against the block uh, you're going to make sure the bolt holes are aligned. I got four of these M6 by 1.0 by 40 millimeter uh, fasteners. Let me just go ahead and thread those in.
And I'm gonna to torque these down to 100 inch pounds. Now that we got our pump on there, we can go ahead and get ready to start installing our pickup tube. First, I'm gonna put this little hex thing on. I got different sizes of these. We may need to grind this down uh, when we set our pickup tube distance. I'm gonna put that on. Now we'll test fit the pickup tube, see how that's gonna fit. And there is no way it's gonna fit with this uh, metal thing on here, so I'm gonna have to cut that off of there. All right, so now I took that uh, piece off of there. We'll see how it fits now. Okay, so the tube fits a lot better now. Um, but I'm going to have to cut into the uh, windage tray. But I'm going to do that in the next video because I'm also going to end up setting the uh, pickup tube clearance to the oil pan. So stay tuned for the next video.